everyone, Lisa here from Port City Stitching. I hope everyone had a good week and happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Yeah, it's kind of chilly today. Um, we did uh, go to the park um, about an hour ago. Apparently there's a motorcycle outside my window and someone with really loud music. Um, but it, yeah, it is a little bit chilly. Went to the park a little bit um, and then came home. So still pretty low key work, uh, low key week here. Um, everything is still, we're still in our stay at home lockdown order. We're thinking it will probably be extended for another couple weeks. I think it's supposed to end on the 20th, but um, we're not getting our hopes up with that. Um, yeah, so we did get an update on our fridge. It is going to be delivered on May 20th. Uh, so I have uh, borrowed a little bar fridge from a co-worker. So we are making do with that right now. So it's a little bit better than the cooler I was working with before. So that's where we're at with that. Uh, so I thought I'd start by showing um, a couple Mother's Day gifts. They're not really stitchy related, but I know most of you um, that watch do like tea as well. Um, so it was uh, David's tea themed Mother's Day, which is fine by me. So I got this um, iced tea press. Mm, I don't know what it's called, but it's the like a water bottle double I guess double layered so the tea goes on the bottom and then you put the ice in the middle part and you squeeze down so I got that and the tea that I have in here is cherry berry punch so this is the first time I've tried this I, I do like this I also received rainbow lemonade as well as I tried earlier, I didn't really like that one as much, but I am going to give it another shot, both as hot and then maybe that one, if I try it cold again, maybe add a little tiny bit of sugar. Um, but this one, it's good. So I've only tried it cold just um, now. Um, so I will try it hot as well for comparison. Then I also got this little sample box of spring flavored teas. Let's see if I can kind of show you what they look like. Um, so I might try to do some sampling of them over the coming weeks. So there's 12 of them. So there's a couple that I already have tried. Um, but yeah, I might give that a if I remember over the next 12 videos is to try to do maybe a little sample um, taste test in each video. So yeah, that um, was basically my mother's day gifts. Um, yeah. So that was nice. All right. Um, as far as haul goes, move the stuff here. My stitching is probably going to be in no particular order. Obviously, with Stitch Mania, there's lots of stuff to show. So let's start with haul. Um, I received the bag from Stitch Toolbox. So this was the May mystery bag. I will say I'm not a huge Rose fan. So if I were to have picked this one out, like if I were to pick out a pattern, it wouldn't have been this one, but it's nice. And of course the bag is well made. I can definitely see um, putting a sampler or something in it for sure. But if I were to pick something out, it, it, I, it wouldn't be something I would pick up. Some candies in there. Nice little note, some chamomile tea. And then a little package of buttons and I think I might it's gonna open them up so you can see them I might make some needle minders out of them actually 
So I'm just not sure what I would use them for otherwise. I don't know if you're going to be able to <laughs> see them. Probably not well. Yeah, you can kind of see the different patterns on them. It's a terrible showing, but yeah. So some wooden buttons in there. And then the pattern is called May Roses by Twin Peak Primitives. So again, not really my aesthetic, but yeah, it's a cute pattern. Perfect. And again, it's such a nice, nicely well-made bag by Anna as Digital Toolbox. And then today for Mother's Day, bear with me because I just printed the stuff off. Let me kind of get this prepared a little bit better. So, um, Searching with the Housewives is 20% off today for Mother's Day. So I picked up some of the daisies. So this was in the Punch Needle and Permanent Stitcher magazine this summer issue last year, I believe. I will say the barn is too patriotic for my liking, so I will probably change up the color of the barn, at least the top part. I don't know what color, but... And then I also got Bunny Garden as well. And then also... Sorry, they're... Doing, playing Minecraft again. It's so loud. And then also, if you're what I don't know how long the sale is for. So, if you're watching today, like Sunday, May 9th, it may still be on. But um, I noticed that Twin Peak, Peak Primitives, um, Twin Peak Primitives is having a 25% off sale of their patterns on their Etsy shop. So I got that one, that's cute. And then Daisy. So I got those today. So another little Mother's Day gift that my husband doesn't know about. So that's fine. All right. So that's it for haul. Um, if you've been watching Caroline Off the Grid or um, Jacob from Modern Folk Embroidery, you will see that they have done a collaboration with Leo and Roxy Flocks and a new pattern that Jacob has just released. So I did head over to uh, Caroline's shop, Evertotes, and uh, ordered my copy of that pattern and uh, the floss. I did notice last night that I think the floss has now been sold out but they are working on dying more and um, I believe she's working on ordering more patterns as well um, but I think you can still pre-order um, if you're interested so definitely check out their videos um, about that collaboration because that looks pretty cool yeah and then so I do have it was actually a start and finish yesterday so I forgot something, but we'll do it next week. That's fine. Um, so it's, this is a little prairie schooler pattern. Um, and it's little B, obviously. So yeah, that was just a start and finish yesterday. I have no idea how I'm going to finish it. It's kind of an oval, so I don't know if it'll go in a hoop very well. And I wanted to save the fabric that I had left to make sure I could do a decent size stitch. So that's why I didn't leave too many, too much margin, but it'll be enough for finishing, I believe. So that was that yesterday. That was my mania piece yesterday as well. Um, yesterday I also worked on Happy Camper by Lori Holt. Boy, I can speak today. Some stuff on the ground. 
Mexico. Um, so this is one of my Whip Go pieces. And what did I do here? Oh, well I added, worked a little bit on the truck over here and then I added the cat and I changed the colors to make him look like Arlo. So that's what I did there. I got over just a hundred stitches there. Yeah, I know that. So my goal for whip go for this piece is a thousand. So I think what I will do is as I am uh, finishing up different whip go pieces or projects, especially on the weekends, then I can work on my on my mania stuff. I mean, then I can work on my whip go stuff um, after I've done whatever I want to do for mania for that day. And then yesterday as well, you know, you got a lot of time when you can't go anywhere. I also pulled out, this is the Clicker's Pride. So that's on the Silk Stitching app. This is a stitcher along with Stacey and one stitcher. This is on a 28 count Lagana over one, one over one. So I added more a lot around the wreaths over here. And then I added some more to the heart. So kind of hard to see the coloring there of the red heart. So that's a Leo Roxy floss. And then the gray is um, Threadworks. No particular, so that was my yesterday, so no particular order on any of these things. Now we're just going to grab. Um, so one of the days, might have been Monday, um, my, my mania piece was Chocolate Bunnies by Hands On Design, using the little buttons. And I finished the green down here. And then I worked on that bunny. Uh, I want to say it's like a 16 count Ada. I'm not sure. It's just a random piece of Ada that was in like a remnant bin at my LNS once. That's why it's kind of a unique color because it's piece too. Um, today's piece is Jack Frost Tree Farm. And I am working on this piece, so I'm gonna do it all all in one. Um, and I'm gonna rechart it. So I was kind of figuring that out today as well. I'm gonna rechart it just to say Jack's tree farm for my son. So it doesn't really look like I did very much. I did add the red here, added the cardinal, added the red down here finish the strip of snow at the very bottom and then this is going to be the sign that says Jack's tree farm so I added this strip of white all the way across and then started my way back and then I can start the letters there it's just a lot of um I guess color changes um is why I'm finding it hard to kind of get into, I think. And not, it's, and a lot of counting because it's all very spread out and not like large chunks. All right. I also, I also worked on Snow Village. And this is, the one here, Snow Boutique, is the one that I was working on. <laughs> Which is not really going to look like I did much on. So it goes here. So I finished the snow at the bottom, 
put in some of those, it's this one here, um, put in some of the leaves, the brown, and then I obviously started the tree, but didn't get very far there. So, not a lot, but a little bit. But I do have three blocks done overall. That's not bad. There's many other people that have a finish, but I have three blocks done. And then I also noticed, I don't think you're going to be able to see this. Probably not. But I was putting it away and inside it was like covered in cat hair. Covered. I mean, it's not like he can get inside the bag. Oh, look at the back. Well, I don't know if you can see that. Um, kind of. You can kind of see it. But the back is covered. But so is the inside. Oh, funny story about animals. So we, Tim Hortons, which is like the Dunkin' Donuts, I guess, of Canada. It's only better. Um, they had a uh, decorate um, your own donut kit for Mother's Day, and they did it last year too. And they haven't had it again since last Mother's Day. So I noticed it was. I saw it on Instagram that they were doing it again. My son really liked that, so my husband went and got some yesterday. So that's fine. So we're <laughs> working. I I'm getting all set up found some extra sprinkles and stuff in the cupboard and different things like that. I had the donuts um, open and then I stepped away and of course the dog jumped up and took one of the donuts. It's okay. We sold five donuts, which is more than enough for us. So that's fine. So I'm decorating the donuts and then I'm putting like the completed donuts in the box and then the cat jumps up and like knocks the box and so the box flips. Everything was fine. Nothing fell out. But and Jack's like, I think we have too many animals. <laughs> so, yeah. But they are good donuts. And I don't think we consumed very much cat hair. So we are good. <sighs> Just another day in our life. Right, so in my Stitching with a Housewife bag, and I have like all my little what's in your cups. And... All right, Peep, I think might have been Tuesday, if not Monday, I don't know, Monday or Tuesday. And I didn't get super far. But I just basically worked on the cup. That's what I did there. All right, and then in this bag, we have both my stitch alongs for linen and threads. I'm not gonna pull out the pad, the, what the, yeah, you're just gonna see the part, the piece that I'm working on. You're not gonna see what it's supposed to look like. I guess cover photo is the word I was looking for there. I couldn't find it. All right. Again, I'm working on ripping out these butterflies. And then I worked on this portion here. So it's gonna be blue and green like the grapes beside. And then, yeah, so I just have those three that you can see and a little bit more of the border that needs to be filled in. Yeah. Coming along. Um, I am a member of our Human Resources Professional Association and you need to have a certain number of professional development credits within a th three year span to keep your designation. Well, of course, 
It always comes down to the last minute for me to get all my courses and stuff in. So last week, I think every night I had some sort of webinar to do. So I was doing my stitching while listening to those. All right, so this is the friend and family sound from last year from Live In Threads 2020. And I was working on this piece up here. I want to say it's the May release. Hmm. I do like working on that just because it is like the one color. So there is something to be said about like a piece with not very many colors or just monochromatic. All right, I think that's everything I worked on this week. Um, I do have one other thing that was a start and a finish, but it is going to, so I stitched it twice and one of them is going to be going to my pen pal um, for June. I mailed out her May little stitching uh, piece uh, last week, my husband did. So um, this one's for June. I need to finish, figure out how to fully finish it. Um, but I did stitch one for myself as well. And so once she gets that, um, then I'll show you my piece and then hopefully it's they're both fully finished at that point. And yeah, so I think that's it. So this coming week, nothing exciting planned, just working on medium. So I hope, as I said in the introduction, that everyone's having a good Mother's Day and uh, stay safe. And we will uh, see you next week.